And everybody should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. Oh, I got a long way to go, but it won't stop the pain. No, no. That's the kind of thing that keeps me coming. You weren't so worried about chipping the nail. Maybe you score back. Oh. All right, brother. It's on. Just call me the Ahmad stop. You don't want none of this. Oh. Oh. Nice yes. Woo! Hey, hey, now. Nah. Mama said what? Oh, come on, Mom. We've been playing for two months and that's your first basket. I mean, face it, you're not ready for the WNBA yet. <laughs> We better get going. Besides, I'm tired of whipping your butt. What? Oh, come on. I'll let you score that basket. Oh, how you look? Yes, you know. I think you know it. No, 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 no. I made that fair and square. Now, the first you, rule of the game. That was one basket. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I was cleaning up the court with you. You too serious about this? Hello, Mr. Wayne. Lyle? Terry? Just hear us out, Bob. We do not fold on a case where the plaintiff is suing for $10 million because he slaps Peter Redman Enterprises with defamation. We do if we can settle it for $2 million. And you're Peter Redman, a white man going up against the biggest African-American watchdog in Chicago. Oh, so now we're running scared from the Brotherhood Coalition? No, Bob. We're running smart. Listen. Lyle, with all due respect, settling is not smart. Now, they're suing for racial discrimination, and PRE has a long history of hiring minorities. They're also accusing Redmond of misappropriating government funds. They make too much noise, and suddenly we're being indicted on criminal charges. The bottom line is, the situation has changed. Kevin Collins and the Brotherhood Coalition were already suing PRE for discriminatory hiring practices. Then, this story about Collins' illegitimate kid shows up in one of Peter's newspapers. Oh, come on, it's not defamation if it's true. While Redmond was in litigation with the man, it looks like classic case of libel whether it's true or not. Drop the papers, Terry. We need to get this behind us. The attention back on PRE's real business. This is a mistake, Lyle. As Redmond's general counsel, it's my mistake to make. It's been a pleasure working with you, Bob. I'll have a check delivered to Moore and Freeman for your services. What the hell's going on here? Redmond wants to stop the bleeding. Oh, and having his flunky relieve me of my duties before I've completed my job is part of that? Technically, you're done. I mean, we hired Moore and Freeman because we needed a black law firm defending Redmond against a black plaintiff. You know that. Well, I also know you hired me because I'm a criminal attorney. And you needed to decrease the likelihood of this thing turning into criminal charges for your boy. With all due respect, it's over, Bob. 
Redmond is a gut feeling kind of guy. Seven hundred million dollars worth of gut feeling ain't bad. I am as good as my reputation and my record. I do not like losing. Your record and reputation are still intact. We are not losing the case we're settling. What's the difference? Producer for Chicago Update, and this is the executive producer Phil Dobson. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, we're very excited about doing the makeover spot in your salon. Yeah, we visited Zeke Fabulous at his salon last oh, week. God, I'm sure that was quite an experience. Yes. Yeah. Uh, just to bring you up to speed, we'll be doing the before segment tomorrow, so we can air it when we shoot live in your salon. Okay. Now Phil's decided the theme will be practicality for the working woman. Mm. That's it's only a guideline. You feel free to get creative. Oh, okay. Well, most of my clients like styles that look good but aren't too time-consuming. So braids and twists are usually a solution to that problem. You have doctors, lawyers. I just need to caution you on being too ethnic. You know, because our audience is multicultural. Um, in other words, we have a lot of white viewers, so don't get lost in the hood. Oh. Oh. Thank you for the translation, Eva. Anytime, Phil. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyway, I need to get to a production meeting, so uh, you need to find three models, okay. and here's what we've got. Okay. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thanks, you too. Okay. Mm, she might be okay. Mm, maybe. No, so. Oh, definitely not her. Oh, no. Might be a little bit too dykey. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, you might want to be careful about calling lesbians dykes if you're talking to a lesbian. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mean anything by it. Um, a few of my friends are lesbians, actually. Great. Wonder what next week's fad will be. Oh, my God. I screwed up even more. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'll see you tomorrow, Tracy. Uh, I wonder what Dad is doing today. Hmm. When we get home, you can call and ask him. My mom and dad are dating. You know, it's pretty weird to see my pops come over to his own house and take out his own wife. You know, I don't see why you just don't tell dad to come back home. It's complicated, Ahmad. Complicated? That's grown up for I'm too chicken to admit I was wrong. I mean, you could just call him and ask him to come back home. No, I can't. Chicken? What? No, in fact, I dare you. Dare me? He did. He lives right around the corner. I mean, you got game? I'm not. Game? Boy, how you gonna dare me? I'm not eight years old. Then do it. Come on. What are you doing? Um, talking to you. <laughs> what are you doing? Standing outside your apartment. What? What? Hey. Um. <laughs> okay. Doing here? Hey. We came to take you home. You came to take me where? Man, I just just don't get it. Look, she wants you to move back home. We all do. Unless you have something better to do on a Monday afternoon. No, 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 no. Um, you know, I just I go and get my stuff.
Get your stuff later. Right. Get my stuff later. <laughs> Pops is finally coming home. I mean, if I had known that all it took was a dare, I would have done this weeks ago. <laughs> Hey, my man came home today. I won't be in after all. <laughs> Bird, I'm serious. I really don't have anything to wear. <sighs> Forget it. I'm not going. What do you mean? You kind of have to show up for work to be considered an employee, even if it is only part-time. Well, how am I supposed to show up when I have nothing to wear? You're right. You should just go naked. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Wear this. It says I'm sweet, but I don't take no mess. Hmm. Yes. Can I show you something while you get dressed? Sure. <sighs> Tell me, mm -hmm. what do these photos say to you? Oh, these women are beautiful. Mm-hmm. Exactly. They don't need makeovers. Hmm. They probably wake up looking like this. Well, sad to say, our culture does not celebrate the ordinary. It's looks or it's accomplishments. Yeah. Well, you know, I want to show that I can take the average woman and make her look, well, or at least feel like a supermodel. Why don't I ask my new boss at the transition house if you can use some of the clients there? You know what? That would be cool. Hmm? Okay. Yet another reason why you have to go to work. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay? You sure? Yes. Looks great. I'll call you later, okay? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye, honey. You better hurry up, because you got to be there by three. Again, our top story, Dr. Kevin Collins and his organization, the Brotherhood Coalition, have apparently reached a settlement with media mogul Peter Redmond in their bitter and contentious discrimination suit. Speculation about the settlement caused Peter Redmond Enterprises to lose ground in active trading today. Well, we certainly have come a long way. In a single day, two black lawyers looked like they're responsible for costing one of America's captains of industry $2 million undermining one of Chicago's most prominent black activists in the process. Well, that's a way to spin a bad situation into a worse one. <laughs> way to sell a brother out, Bob. Oh, come on. Just a sneak preview of what we're going to hear from the entire black community. <laughs> Just forget about the Redmond case for a minute. It's over. I brought you here today to thank you. It was really great working together again. So now, raise your glass, counselor. To finding colleagues who are as obsessed with their jobs as I am. <laughs> to obsessive workaholics. Cheers. Cheers. Ever since I dared my mom to ask dad back home, you know, they've been all over each other. Which is cool. Sickening, but cool. Okay. Mm. 